rock star now and then. Nobody can see my way today. I am more intense today. Nobody gets in my way, way, way. It's a brand new term at the Secret Life Nursery. This is going to be so amazing. Fabulous. With a fresh class of children. <laughs> Let's talk in Maury. And all new adventures. Yeah! With unique access. Love Island's on. To every friendship. Da, 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 da. Hi, girlfriend. Fist bump. <laughs> and every romance. <laughs> oh, that is gross, man. Scuffle. You are so mean to me. And drama. I hate music. With all of the raw emotion. <laughs> oh, my fool. You break my heart. This is the remarkable secret life of four year olds. This week. <laughs> that is disgusting! The children get to grips with relationships. Come on. Why is it the strongest? When love blossoms. Aw, thank you. We'll be kissing forever. And Ooh. friendships are <laughs> tested. Punch his goalie. <laughs> Secret Life Garden, some of the four-year-olds from last week are getting reacquainted. Wow, I'm nearly five. I'm nearly five too. Arthur, you have to be the doctor. Uh. Wow! To begin the week, the children are gathering for circle time. Uh, I don't want to sit on the purple one. Can I have you sit up on the blue bit, please, uh. Arthur? I want to sit on purple. Well, I can't let you today, Arthur. Oh, and stomping right. your feet is not going to make a difference. So please don't. But this morning, there's a surprise in store. Wow. After a week, these children already have firm, established friendships and relationships with each other. But what's going to happen when five new children arrive? Observing the nursery are Dr Elizabeth Kilby and Professor Paul Howard-Jones. We've got some new children here today and you won't all know each other yet. Looking after the class are teachers Kate and Simon. I want to let everyone have a turn of saying their name and I would like to know what makes you special. My name's Frankie. And what is special um, about you, Frankie? My, my hair looks like noodles, and I can do 20 push-ups. If there was, like, a six-pack, you just go and see it. OK, Arthur. I'm clever, and I'm the king, and I can do a good banana impression. And the banana <laughs> impression. Hello, my name is Archie, and I can be good as a dinosaur. Wow. My name is Nashay. And what makes you special? Blana me me me, sala di di di, mazi si si hana si si di di. Are you really good at uh, making friends? <laughs> and Penny, what is special about you? Because I have a special hole in my tummy. Can you tell us about the special hole in your tummy? Because I'm a spina bifida. Oh, right. I can walk very well, so I have to wear that. It's a pirate blend. Oh, brilliant. My name's Jetson and I'm going to be good today, and my mum and dad are going to be so proud when I come back from home and they're going to let me play my Nintendo. Are you a good boy or a naughty boy? Good boy. Sure. <laughs> really? 
you can go and have a little play in the garden now. Off Yay. you go. Well done. Mum, this way. Mum, look, can you see this? I love that. Ow! It's a potion in there. It's really dangerous. Only, only big boys are allowed in there. I'm only four years old. I know, but we, but you can't even talk about me. For many four-year-olds, this is the first time they have begun to socialise and form friendships outside of the family environment. It's a process of trial and error, and the best way for them to understand how relationships work is to experience them. Look, watch, this is what a jab is. Oh, 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 yeah, that's good. I am a sister, so I'm not going to show you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Are you impressed, Jackson? <laughs> no. Well, I got bigger. Wait, wait! Fight! Jackson's quite a physical guy, isn't he? Go, 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 go! Jackson's like a little miniature version of me. Jackson lives in Essex with Dad Jack, an electrical engineer, and Mum Jade, a retail assistant, who was away at the time of filming. Three of us together are three musketeers. We're a very close, close family. We do everything together, really. We're one tight unit. But while Mum's away, the boys will play. Jab. <laughs> yeah, Jackson's definitely one of the boys, without a doubt. Hey, show me your proper punches. Jab, oh, straight, jab. We do a lot of boxing and it's a play fight and we do a lot too much sometimes. And the older he's getting, he's starting to get a bit more powerful and he's starting to hurt a bit now. Don't get hurt me now, man. Slow down. He is a proper little fella. Sometimes he don't want to play with girls. If he goes somewhere, there's only girls there, he, does, he gets a bit of the ump. So there's no boys here to play with. He's a bit, obviously, boisterous. <laughs> Living with Jackson is, is quite hectic, but... I see the softer side in Jackson is in the every day. He's very loving, cuddles like just out of the blue, you'd be I'll be playing with him and he just cuddle me and I'm like, oh, what's that for? And he'd be like, oh, I love you, Daddy, which is oh. yeah, it's nice, you know what I mean? But yeah, he's got a big heart. He's <laughs> so funny. And uh, just amazing, basically. Well, as any parents say, it's a joy. <laughs> the first activity of the week is a physical challenge. Simon and I were wondering what you think being strong means. Lifting up a gigantic tree. Who do you think is stronger, boys or girls? Boys! And why do you think that, Jackson? Because girls don't eat all their dinner. Do either of you two have girlfriends? <laughs> no, don't, no, don't, we don't have girlfriends, sorry. <laughs> Oh, the muscles are out now. We, we two of you have boyfriends, like Frankie. Oh! Shannon! The boys told us the boys are the strongest! Actually, at age four, there's very little difference between the strength of boys and girls. It's not until adolescence that these differences really start to kick in. Arthur, what do you think? Who is stronger, boys or girls? Girls. And why do you think girls are stronger? Because... Um, because they're beautiful. He's a bit of a ladies' man, He's isn't he? He's going to go a long way, that one. I won't let you down. OK. Guys, are you two boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes. We do everything together. But for this morning's challenge, they'll have to split up in a girls versus boys tug of war. Ready, steady, pull! Ah. Come on, girls. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Ah. pull, pull, pull. pull. Pull, 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 keep down. pulling, girls, keep pulling. Oh, pull. Oh, God, Come dig on, in, pull, girls. Pull, 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 Anchor pull. man. Keep pulling. <laughs> it's hard one, girls. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Arthur, we need you. Arthur. Oh, Arthur's given up. Arthur's given up because he wants the girls to win, so he's leaving it completely to Jackson and Rowan. I can't go with keep you. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep keep pulling. Keep keep pulling. Keep we need you. Uh, I can't. Yeah. One more. I can't. Yes. All right. Okay, drop the rope. Well done. That's not fair. I couldn't That's go fair. with you. I kind of like girls a lot. This is your prize. This 
is a muscle, muscle shirt. shirt. Arthur's quite happy to claim the prize. And it goes straight oh, to Iris. What a surprise, of course. <laughs> Predictably, the two now very muscly boys are having a fight. Well, you would do, especially with those jackets yeah. on. Yeah. The treehouse is under attack, and Arthur needs to prepare for battle. You're still strong. Punch him right in the. You've got you've got the shirt on. I don't. Just punch him. No, you've got the shirt on. I don't. And that makes you strong. I. I <gasps> Next, I'm going to pick up the whole, whole school what we're in. Punch his goalies! Punch his goalies! Do you notice the way they've sort of regressed in evolutionary terms? <laughs> Are you saying it's all gone a bit Neanderthal? Yeah. Jackson is punching and kicking all of us. Jackson! How did you hurt me? Jackson, need to talk to you real quick. Oh. Come on, come on, Ooh. come under here. <laughs> come here. Let me sit down. So, listen, I've been told by a few children that you've been punching and hitting when you've been playing. Why are you doing that? They keep screaming and I don't like it. If somebody's doing something you don't like, should we hit them and punch them? No. If you want anyone to stop doing something, yeah. what do we have to remember to use? Say so, sorry. Yeah, well, no. If you, want... in that big <laughs> if you want someone to stop doing something, we have to use our words, so we have to say something yeah. instead of hitting them. Yeah, I'm going to say sorry okay, now. Thanks. Thanks, Jackson. <laughs> you can't do certain things. Now you're allergic. Allergic? Yes. To what? Um, to feathers. Can I take my fingers away? No. No, I can't. In the Secret Life Garden, romance is blossoming. I won't be kissing forever. I made a wish for you to love me forever. Are you starting not to love me? You're loving me forever. Do you love Iris? Yeah. How much? Ten hundred. Can you do a dab? I can do it like this. Could and look at me. I can do it like this. Simon. Um, what's that real thingy for? Uh, it's pennies. What's it for, though? Ask Penny. No, you. It's Penny's. Just go and ask her. She'll tell you. Penny? Yeah? What's that wheelbarrow thing for? What? What's that wheelbarrow thing for? Yeah? In case your legs hurt. And they can sit down in there. I have spiny breath and I can, I can walk around. And that makes my feet go straight. Let's play hide and seek, girls. <laughs> Penny lives in Northumberland with sisters Georgia and Bethany, Mum Heather, a civil servant, and Dad Colin, who has cerebral palsy. I was 28 weeks pregnant. I went for a growth scan, and it was at that stage that we found out Penny had spine bifida, and the world just kind of turned upside down. And at that point, me and Colin made the decision that no matter what, Penny was coming into this world. And um, here she is, our little yeah. bundle of mayhem. <laughs> Neighbour. Are we going down the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Spina bifida is when a baby's spine and spinal cord don't develop properly in the womb. It can cause severe bladder, bowel and mobility issues. Penny spends a lot of time in hospital. She's had seven operations, eight general anaesthetics, and it's been hard. It's been it's hard on all of them. It's been very hard. Mum, what? Can you cover my feet in sand? Can we smell your stinky foot? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good! Come on, come on, come on. 
Without a doubt, the biggest milestone has to be Penny taking her first step. Yeah, there was a few tears shed was. that day. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm getting emotional talking about it. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Come on then. Penny quite often uses a spine bifter as an excuse not to do something. It'll be suddenly, oh, my back hurts, or oh, my leg hurts. And you can tell that it's, it's, it's put on. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, that's just Penny's way of saying to us, I've had enough, I don't, I don't want, want to do, do this. Can you make a big hole for me to get in? Do you want me to bury you? No, just not my face hole, just my bum. Just your bum? Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted her to be an independent child, so I've never stopped her from doing anything. So I would often describe Penny as a little minx. She likes to get up to mischief and mayhem. She always wants to be in the mix, doesn't she? Yeah, She's quite often trying to take control of the situation um, and turn it into Penny's world and do it Penny's way. Mm. Blue. In home corner, Nache and Penny have struck up a friendship. Oh, you can't put that in. You can't do that. I'll just do this. I want some fried eggs. Sometimes I get a bit mad. You get mad? Yeah. Is that soft? Yeah. I just need to take the hairband out. Don't take out, Mummy. I'm just doing something. Oh. I'm doing something. Wait, stop. You yeah. took my bubble. Here you go. You didn't ask I can take my bubble. Please, can I have it? Huh? Penny and Nache are both really strong individuals who like doing things their own way. And this is making for a tricky relationship dynamic. So, yeah, so Nache, just leave her hair bubble in, OK? Yeah. I'm not going to play with you. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Children are beginning to master the physical world at four years old, but the social world is much more complex. Trying to imagine how someone else thinks or feels is really challenging at this age, so misunderstandings are often commonplace and relationships often volatile. I'll go and tell your mummy. Stop, don't tell my mummy because she will be angry. Nishi pulled my bob out. How did that make you feel? Really mad. I'm going to tell the teacher. You'll be naughty, nasty. I'm not nasty. And you were shouting at me. She didn't want me to do her fabulous hair. I was like this, oh, go away, monster -y, because I am not being your friend. And you'll never, never be my life again. My mum didn't even born you, so how can I be in your life? We're not even sisters. My mum didn't born her, so why, so why did she, so why I had to be in her life? I'm not in her life. I'm in my mum's life. I don't like you. Stop! I just want to be Stop! Stop! She never ever's going to be good to me. She so break my heart in pieces. Iris and Arthur are spending some quality time together, but there's an intruder. No! Oh, no, he's up! There we go. I'm leaving. OK, bye. I think Frankie is the third player in this game, but I'm not sure how aware he is of his significant <laughs> role. Please, can you let me in? No. I need no. to. No, I'm playing with him now. Iris seems to have switched her affections rather quickly. Pretend we were boyfriend. Boyfriend and girlfriend, but then we were husband and 
wife. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm okay. Can you pick some flowers and I and you gave some to me? She's just going to share the love around. Well, I think they're being creative with the idea of an exclusive relationship. Well, Iris is being creative. Arthur, Arthur less so. I might even have to pull those two apart in a minute. We have a special treat for you this afternoon. A treat? A treat. It did they hone it and mouth of it. Kate and Simon have arranged for a special guest to visit the nursery. Are you excited now, Frankie? Oh, my God! It's funny when he walks. <laughs> Karis is a four-year-old Togenberg goat. Does anyone know what kind of food do we get from a goat? Flowers, grass. We can get... Milk. We can get milk from well a goat, can't we? Oh. How do you think we get milk from a goat? Have Does a look she at them out? Think we maybe she wheezes them out? Mm. Or poof them out. What do you think, Kira? Ew. How do you think we get milk okay, from a goat? I don't know. You're not sure? I think we might find out. Oh, my gosh. That is... Ew. <laughs> Interesting range of emotional responses. Frankie's just disgusted. Lee thinks it's funny. <laughs> Kira doesn't know what no. she thinks. She's got her hands over her face. Who thinks? that they would like to have a go at milking Not the goat. Not me. Okay, me. Kira, would you like to have a go of milking the goat? You sure? OK. Kira's nervous. She's cautious. And actually, that's not yeah. a bad quality. There are so many dangers in the world. It's, it's important sometimes to just have a little thought about what you're getting involved with. You sit on the stool. <laughs> Does it smell, Frankie? Ready? Oh. I mean, udders <laughs> up close and personal, too much. Watch me. Okay. You put your hand over my hand. That's it. That's it. Good. Oh, look, Frankie's milking it. Well done, Frankie. It's actually kind of hard and so easy because it doesn't come out of your hand by any hand. Do you want to try it on your own now? <laughs> you have to squeeze it oh, be as hard as you can. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? It's trickier than it looks. Yes! Good job! Good boy. I'm just going for a poo before we go to bed. <laughs> That's for the babies to poo. <laughs> boo! Over in the garden, Nache has got a new toy. What? Give him back! Can I go away? Can you? <laughs> Give him back! <laughs> Can you go <laughs> Jackson, he has trouble yeah. controlling that impulse, doesn't he? And he's just been a bit too rough. No, give it back! I'm just going to talk. Talk, you idiot. What's up, Nashe? Um, somebody called me an idiot. Who was it? Him with the blue shirt. I haven't got a blue shirt. Jackson, did you say something rude to Nache? He said I'm an idiot. No, I didn't. I really didn't. He, he said really I'm an idiot. Jackson, can you say something to Nache for saying that? Because that's not a very nice thing to say. I'm sorry. Thank you, Excuse Jackson. Me? I think, actually, he's got good social reasoning skills. You know, he understands yeah. the situation entirely. What he hasn't got is the impulse control and the yeah. heat of the moment. Yes. Come and tag me! Jackson has joined a game of tag with Neve and Penny. Ah! I got it. I'm going to... Tell you pushed me. No, don't, don't, don't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jackson, you know, actually only gave her a little nudge. 
maybe when you interact in this way with boys, which he's much more familiar with doing, mm. he gets a more predictable response. What he can't work out is this: why this doesn't work when he mm. does it with the girls. Oh, it's all my fault, man. It's all my fault. All my fault. The boy pushed me down. Hang on, let me go sit down. So what happened? Um, the boy pushed me down. Jackson, come here quickly. So Penny just said that you pushed... Did you push her over? Yeah, I pushed me with my tag. So Penny's a bit hurt. Is there anything we can, we can do? Um... I don't know. Sorry. Oh. Down. Mountaineering has come to the Secret Life Nursery. We have a climbing wall for you to use. I don't like I, climbing. I know it was climbing. You knew it was climbing. And I'm a bit scared. You're a bit scared, are you? Standing at almost the height of a two-storey house, this climbing wall is one of the biggest Secret Life challenges ever. The children will aim to scale the wall and hit the button at the top. It's going to be fascinating to see who takes the risk and who plays it safe. I'm a bit scared. I You're don't want to go on there. Kira lives in Leicestershire with stay-at-home mum Helen, younger brother Caden, and dad Mark, who works in logistics. Tom, everybody, do the funky monkey with me. Ooh, ooh. I'd describe Kira as lively. She's got a very loving side to her. Always happy. We're singing, dancing, just a complete chatterbox. But the trouble is with Kira is she doesn't know when to stop, so... Yeah. <laughs> Kira's quite a girly girl. She like being she girly fashion. Girly fashion, girly shoes, the handbags. This is for when I went to the show, but I wanted to just have, like, the very ballerina when I saw it on my iPad. So I wouldn't say she was a risk taker. You know, when she's been in the playground, you see some kids that run up there straight away and get on the platform and jump off. And I don't think she, she does that. She sort of, she'll do, go halfway and jump off. This is my dolly, and she's, this is her handbag filled with lots of food in it. When you try to push her to do things, she will say no. Who would like to have a go climbing up a wall? I don't want to go on there. Frankie actually looks very excited about this. He does look like he's looking forward to it. There's nothing in the world that I'm scared of. Nothing at all? Yes. What about spiders? No. Look. He is Really yeah. getting into that. He is flying he is up moving. that wall. Wow, look at him go. He's going Good really boy. high. Or is he going to go up that high? Keep he holding. He can go up all the way if he wants to. Oh, <laughs> can you see how high this boy is? He oh, wants wow. to press that button. He's going to go all the way to the top. That's it, Frankie. Use your feet. Yeah, yeah. You're so close. Almost there. Get your hand on the black one, that's it. Come on, Frankie, come on. It's a little bit more yet, you've got to pull up and press it. Yeah! Yay! He was, like, fantastic. He, all the time, he jumped really, he climbed really high until he reached the button. Kira, if you change your mind and you decide you want to have a go, you can. I'm going to do a little bit high, a little bit. Kira's going to have a go. She wants to go up a little bit. I thought Kira was not going to go up that wall. No. I'm really pleased and a little bit surprised. She's changed her mind. She's seen the boys. It's given her a bit of confidence. That's it, Kira. That's it? That's it, Kira. Reach your hand up. Put your hand on the... That's it. That's it, Kira. That's Good it. job. Come on, yeah, Kira. Come on, Kira. Well that is That is great. Kira, you're doing so well. There That's you it. Go. You've Keep got it. That's it. Keep going. Well done, Kira. Oh, that's, oh. that's great, isn't it? Yeah. I went nearly high. I'm going to do it again. 
What they're not thinking is, OK, that's my limit. They're thinking, no, this can change, and that is the secret of having a growth mindset and actually achieving in life. That's it, Kira. Well done. That's it, so hold on. Move your foot. Keep going, Kira. Feet, Kira, feet. Go on, Kira, keep going. That's brilliant. Don't look down. Because when I look down, it'll feel when I'm too high. That's it, keep going. And then put your foot on. That's it. That's it. Pull yourself up on that one. There you go, push up with your legs. Come on, Kira. Can you see I, how high Kira I is? I cannot believe that Kira is going this high. And now she seems determined to go I mean, all the way. Amazing. Push up with your foot. Go on, Kira. That's it. Push up with your legs. That's it. That's a good job. Put your foot well on the black done, one. Kira. That's it. Kira. Well done. Kira. Push up with your legs. Kira. Frankie knows what it's Kira. like to press that button. He yes. wants Kira to experience that. Oh. You know, this is not competition. Kira. Pull yourself on the black one. Kira. Kira. Almost. Kira. Come on, it's so close. Hold it. it. Press it. Press it. <laughs> Yeah! Yay! A little bit good and gooder and good and good and more bigger at the end. She's gone up just as far as Frankie, but actually the distance that she's travelled in emotionally yeah. and in terms of her achievement is much greater. Because you didn't even want to have a go in the beginning, did you? And I went so Super high! I'm so high! Did that feel like her? It felt like I'm happy. <laughs> Taking risks and overcoming fears is an important way for children to build confidence. Storing these memories and being able to refer back to them will help them overcome difficult situations in later life. It's lunchtime. I'm in someone's church. And Iris and Arthur are having a heart to heart. No, now what, no, what matter what you eat and do, you'll still be my true love. You've not had a kiss yet from me. No, I love him now. No. I do. Now I love Frankie. Oh dear. What? You don't love me. I love him now. No! He loves me. He's the one who loves me. I don't. Please. No. I love him. I'll kill my mum. And his, and his girlfriend. Can you please be my girlfriend? And we like girls. Sorry. Whilst playground romance might seem like an extension of imaginary play, Research has shown us that children as young as four can actually experience true romantic feelings. What do you think of Frankie? Frankie wants me to love him, and Arthur wants me to love him. So what are you going to do? Uh, I don't know. Um, are you still my friend? No. <laughs> Um, are you joking? Are you joking? Are you joking? Well, that's a bit provocative, Iris. Mm. Not in front of Arthur. Oh. She is, she's really almost teasing Arthur, isn't she? Yes. Is Frankie your boyfriend? Yeah. Inside the nursery, Jackson's decided to play with Neve. We'll change. No, I know you're the slug. And I think Jackson's had this quite fixed idea about who he should be playing with. He hasn't tried playing with girls. Possibly he's not used to playing with girls. But don't, please, don't take any more. You've got lots in your hands. <laughs> now he's giving it a shot. The experience, this positive experience that he's having, might actually produce a turning point. You're silly. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
For me, this is a significant difference in Jackson's play because he has really settled into a play scene here and it's, it's a different sort of play. It's a different boy. Jackson, I'm eating your money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, please, can I no. have them? I got my favourite colour pink. I can even skew on the bridge. Kira, Nashay and Penny are hanging out in the garden. Can I please go on one of your school times? No. No. <clears throat> it's been three days since Nashe and Penny had a bust up over a hair bobble. Oh, Penny. So Kira and Nashe are both gloating that they've got their favourite coloured scooters. And, you know, it's, it's clear the effect that this is having on Penny. Mm. Mine is the fastest. I nearly fell off. Whoa! Oh, guys, guys, do you want to play doctors? No, thank you. No, if you don't play doctors, I'll not even be your best friend. Mm. Mm. <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Why do you stop? Even at four, you can hold on to some quite difficult feelings. And Nashe and Penny have history with each other, and I think some of that is now impacting on what's happening here. Penny, have you tried to just ask if you can have a go? Uh, uh, yeah, but there's a noise. Can you guys maybe look after her a little bit for me? Because she's a little bit upset. She looks a bit sad. No, I just want to go on a scooter. Sharing means being able to take someone else's wishes into account. And at age four, a child's ability to see something from another person's perspective is still very much developing. We're supposed to look after her. I am looking after her. While they may struggle now, within about a year, they'll find this much easier to deal with. But we need to take care of her. She's I... really sad. I am taking care of her. And I'm really sad that you're not taking care of her, because I... I am taking care of her. Just, just listen to me. I'm, I'm gonna talk. I think. Stop! No, I'm gonna. <laughs> you are so mean to me. When I so finish, you follow. can have it. But she can have it. She said I want to play my scooter. I was angry at you. You didn't let me because I want to go on. Then I will have my scooter back, thank you. Give it back. <laughs> You've been, you, I'm telling. I got a scooter. Me too. Don't do that ever, ever again. <laughs> I've got the same language, but I don't know what that language is. It's lunchtime at the Secret Life Nursery. Rocky. Ow! OK, kiss me. No. No, no. I kissed your nose. Arthur hasn't given up on his relationship with Iris. Can you please kiss me? Yes. <gasps> For real? Yeah. Absolutely. No, you don't love him. There's a sense in which Arthur is pleading with Iris. Well, he's trying to find a solution, isn't he? Will you please be my girlfriend? OK. I'll kiss you. You have to kiss me. Really? Yes. Now I'm your girlfriend, OK? Love makes me happy. Love makes me happy. Love makes me happy. It's the last day, and just before home time... Are we going to make a sandwich? We're best friends! Kate and Simon have a final competition for the children. You need to make the best sandwich you can using any or all of the ingredients in front of you. And the winning pair will win 
a T for two. We've got Nache and Penny working together. Well, we hope working together. Yes. But this is an opportunity, really, for them to learn how to behave positively together. All right, off you go. <laughs> this is going to be so amazing. I'm playing sprinkles and chocolate and ham. Oh, my God, it's going to be so tasty. How does it taste? Yeah? Good. OK. Sprinkles. Let me just taste some. Um, does it taste good? Yeah. Whoa. What is this? Yes, that's perfect. Not so much mine. That's disgusting. I think I'll put this on it. No way. But remember, if you don't know what that's it is. That's hummus. OK. I know what it is. It's hummus. I don't like it. Look at my sandwich! I had to put that on it. Hey! Oh my gosh, we're done! Wow. Well done. Now Simon is going to have a taste to find out which team has made the best sandwich. Frankie and Jackson. Why don't you bring your sandwich up very carefully? Right, put it on my table. All right, oh, wow. Look at this sandwich. Right, let me... Uh... Interesting. Oh, wow. Mmm. So the honey and the gherkin... <laughs> what made you put them together? Very good. Do you normally have sprinkles with tomato? No. It's good. It's, yeah. So, Iris and Arthur, you better bring your sandwich out for Simon to taste. So, not quite as tall, but, you know... No. A little bit easy to pick up. There's a lot of mustard. Yes. It's got a nice kick to it. I think it's looking very tasty. Penny and Nache, please bring your enormously tall sandwich over. Wow, you're very good at carrying that together. Good job. So pop it up here. Thank you. Look at this. It's rather enormous. It's huge. Mmm. Oh, you like mustard too, don't you? <laughs> I love the ham and cheese. And then a lot more mustard, ketchup. It's, it's good. It's good. Oh. OK, the moment of truth, everybody. Whose sandwich, Simon, do you think? is worthy of winning this competition. They were all very good sandwiches. The winning sandwich goes to... Penny and the shade. Yeah. So well done. Yeah. Penny and Nache are sitting down for their prize tea for two. Yummy! Here's your knife and here's my fork. Yummy, dummy, summy, gummy! What is this? Tissue. I think it's cake. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. We come friends again because we won the sandwich competition. That's why I, I won this campus. No, we both won. I'm going to play with you. Do you want me to do your hair? No way. One second, you pull my hair out. I won't pull it out like last time. Do you like it? Yeah. You're going to be famous. Penny's my best friend. Why? Because she was a little bit rude when she came here, but I think I forgive her. 
You're going to be perfect when they see you. They're going to be, wow, who is that? All done. We all know how tough it is being four, the emotional roller coaster of friendships and relationships. But what we have to remember is that these four year olds have an enormous capacity for compassion and forgiveness. And maybe there's a lesson in that for all of us. Oh, do you want to go up to our house? As the week ends, Iris and Arthur are enjoying their twilight years together. Oh, is this your house? Yeah. So where do you put your hats? Oh, uh, you just put it here, my love. Oh, just here? No, you put it here. I'll put it on for you. Thank you. Anyway, what's your name? I'm called Iris. Put your hat on. Right, I'll put it on. I'll put it on the right way. There. Right, come on. Come on. Oh, are you okay, husband? Oh, yes, my dear. I can't walk now. My legs are stiff. Guys, what is love? Um, we don't, don't love. We don't really know. No, we don't know everything. We're just kids. But Emma, we're just children. I thought this was going to be easy. Next time... It's the five-year-olds. And a class of children from around the world. I come from America. So, yeah. You got your gun license? 